Hey guys, welcome to Phone Radar. This is Chetan, and uh, this is the Lenovo S580 smartphone that is uh, retailing at rupees nine thousand in the Indian market. And this one comes with a beautiful five-inch seven twenty p display on the front. And uh, what you get to see internally is a, a quad-core processor that's a Qualcomm Snapdragon two hundred, clocking at one point two gigahertz. And along with that, there's Adreno three zero five GPU with one GB of RAM. So that is with the internal specs. And on the back, this device has got a eight megapixel camera with the LED flash. And uh, in this video we are particularly going to play a few games and let you know the performance of the gaming and uh, how well is the experience in the experience we don't see only how well the graphics are running but what is the overall experience based on the display and the heating issues and the speakers as well so the speakers of this smartphone are located just like the Galaxy S2 that we had seen in the past just beside the camera lens and because the camera is a bit raised from the side you can at least uh, see the speaker uh, coming out loud with the the device being placed flat on the table so first uh, let's uh, let's play a couple of games and before that let me try to check the temperature of the device and this is before we even start this is uh, usually the area around uh, which around which uh, the temperature is checked because this is where it gets heated up to the max so right now it's 32.9 degrees and that is about 33 so that is the temperature and uh, let's start playing a few games and that would be around 15 to 20 minutes or could be stretched to about 30 minutes uh, to the max to check out uh, the temperature changes and also the gaming experience. So the first game that we would play is the Asphalt 8 uh, which is a high, high end graphics uh, game. So let's play and uh, check out the performance of this one. So as you can see the game, uh, I don't feel it is uh, that great in performance and uh, I can see a little of an issue with the graphics to be loaded and uh, you can see that it is dragging a bit and uh, talking of the speaker quality right now this is at about 50 percent of uh, what the maximum speakers uh, output is so let me try to push it to further to 100 so this is the full, uh, full volume like 100 100 percent Let me try to lower it. Uh, the issue with the speakers here I see is that at 50% it isn't uh, coming out really well and I don't feel that it is at least half, a, half, to, half of the full volume. So uh, you will have to push the volume to about 70 to 80% to get a good uh, output of the sound. And that is not really an issue if you are uh, okay with it. But uh, here let's talk about the graphics once again. I am seeing this a bit laggy and not laggy but uh, the pixels are not loading at uh, a proper time. So the actual gaming uh, can be a bit uh, of an issue and you won't feel a very good experience here while playing the high-end games, especially the Asphalt 8 that I am testing right now. So after playing the Asphalt 8 for about uh, 8 minutes, I uh, will now go to the second game that is the Riptide GP2. Earlier we used to test the devices with the games such as Subway Surfers and also the uh, Mini Unrush or the Despicable Me game and uh, those did have a good graphics uh, level but uh, still they aren't comparable to these games because these come with very heavy loaded graphics and this is how you can actually check uh, how well the gaming performance is and because uh, many users would uh, prefer to use uh, run high end games and that is the reason they go for smartphones if it was just for calling it would have been uh, those normal phones which they would have chosen but here it's those smartphones uh, the reason why people will go with uh, any smartphone Right now in the Repair GP2, it's running pretty well. Uh, there's no issue with the performance, with the lag. There's no lag at all. It's going on very well, and uh, the orientation of the rotation of the device is also good. The gravity levels, where uh, even a minor turn is being uh, done very well because I'm just shaking the hand a little bit, and uh, it's still uh, turning the uh, motorbike. So that is how the, well the orientation is, and. Uh, the graphics performance at least in this device is uh, in this game is at least good and uh, much better than what we saw with the Asphalt 8 game. So after this the last game that we will be checking out is the Detrigger 2. That is where uh, we will get to know about uh, the touch response as well because that is a game where I will be holding the screen for a long time and uh, pressing the uh, button for moving around.
So this is the the trigger two game. Shit! Watch out! You can see that. You can sp uh, see that the speakers are quite loud and uh, that is uh, quite well and uh, better than uh, what we had seen in the first two games. So this is uh, the Dead Trigger 2 game and uh, that's what I'm playing right now to so check out the performance. The graphics levels again are good and uh, I'm able to load all the graphics very well. Uh, the point to note here is that uh, the GPU in this one is the Adreno 305 GPU and this is a bit better than uh, what we had seen earlier that is uh, Adreno 302 GPU in the Moto E and as I said uh, we will be testing the touch response here I am continuously holding the I am tapping the screen and uh, holding it there to move around to move ahead and backwards so that is where uh, we can get to know how well the touch is Recently one of the smartphones with the major touch issue was uh, the Microsoft Lumia 535. So this is uh, showing no such issues. Everything is uh, going on pretty well in this uh, game at least. So these were the three games and uh, while everything is not shown in this uh, video, I have been uh, playing the games for about 20-25 to 25 minutes and now it's uh, time to check out uh, the temperature of the device before uh, we complete the review. This is again the area where I feel a bit of some heating up of the device is here happening and that is where 38.8 degrees centigrade is the temperature that you can see. So it's not at all uh, uh, much of an issue because 38 is nothing of a heavy heating up. At least if you go to 41, 42 then you can understand that the device needs to cool down now. So 38 is uh, okay and not that bad. And with the gaming for performance, this device doesn't play all the games in the same level, at least for the asphalt rate that we had seen. Although the asphalt rate is optimized for the 720p output in this uh, smartphone, the performance was not great. But for the other smart other gaming, such as the Dead Trigger 2 and the Riptide GP2, the performance of the Lenovo S580 was uh, pretty good. So this was the gaming review of the Lenovo S580. In the other videos, you'll be checking out the camera review and the final review of this device. So separate phone data for more and check out the channel for more videos. Thank you.